Barca player Dani Alves has spent his first weekend in prison on suspicion of a sexual assault in Barcelona in late December. He's now in Briand's 2 penitentiary northwest of Barcelona. This is Catalan News in 100 seconds. The Brazilian footballer was transferred today from Briand's 1 to Briand's 2, a prison with smaller wards, with around 80 cells each. Authorities said this will enhance the safety of all inmates. Meanwhile, FC Barcelona coach Xavi Hernández apologized for having said he felt sorry for his former teammate. Barcelona's deputy mayor, Jaume Calboni, has stepped down to focus on the mayor of race deemed to be very close. The socialist top candidate in the May local election drew criticism from rivals who accused him of being irresponsible. Tornaré a l'Ajuntament. Com a nou alcalde, si la majoria de la ciutat ho decideix. I tornaré per obrir aquesta nova etapa. The H2 Met Hydrogen Pipeline, planned to connect Barcelona to Marseille by 2030, will reach Germany. Olaf Scholz, German Chancellor, announced it at a joint event with the French President, Emmanuel Macron. Barcelona's Light Arts Festival, Llum Barcelona, will be back from February the 3rd to February the 5th. Open air and indoor installations, architecture and technology will come together again for this free festival. Catalonia is experiencing the coldest couple of days of the year. And tomorrow morning, snow could reach the Mediterranean coast in north and 200 meters above sea level elsewhere. Alcaraz added one more success yesterday at the Gaudí Awards. The Catalan Oscars granted five prizes to the 2022 Golden Bear winner. Pacifiction was the other big winner on the night.